Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, it's been so long since we met again Still same, I'm Haruni Sakairupan and I'm 5th semester in English Education Department Now my duty is going to tell a story or a local folklore from Java entitled Bawang Merah and Bawang Putih Without any further ado, let's get started Once upon a time, in a nice quiet village there lived a wealthy merchant. He lived together with his daughter, who named Bawang Puti. This merchant's wife had long since passed away. The merchant was very fond of his daughter because she was obedient and kind-hearted. One day, as he came home from traveling, he bought a woman and her daughter with him. He wanted to marry this woman. So now, Bawang Puti had a stepmother and stepsister who named Bawang Mera. When her father went to trade, her stepmother and Bawang Mera would treat Bawang Puti like a serpent. And if Bawang Puti's words went wrong, they will punish her. And because of this punishment, Bawang Puti became thinner. One day, her father come home and feel ill and because of this illness her father died it made Bawang Puti very sad while Bawang Puti felt so sad her stepmother and Bawang Mera felt so happy because of all the property and house belonged to them look mom he finally died said Bawang Mera happily. Yes, we will be rich, responds the stepmother, we're happy to. After that, Bawang Putih's life turned into miserable in the hand of her stepmother and Bawang Mera. Lord, help me! Why are they always evil to me? said Bawang Putih cried in the bedroom. One day, Bawang Puti went to the river to wash clothes. While washing, her stepmother's favorite shawl had washed away. She felt so worried about the scarf and afraid to turn home. She decided to search that scarf along the river until she met a farmer who was washing his cow. He asked about the scarf to the farmer and the farmer responds, knitted. He knows the scarf was taken by the old grandmother who lived on the mountain. Bawang Puti immediately went to the grandmother's house and then she met the grandmother. The grandmother would give the scarf back with one condition. Bawang Puti must help her first, then she agreed. She did the work so easily because she used to. Finally, the grandmother gave the scarf an over gift to him. To, he, to her, I'm sorry. It was small and large pumpkin. Bawang Puti must choose which one she want to take to home. Then she chose the small one. Arrived at home, her stepmother and Bawang Mera scold to Bawang Puti. Where have you been? We're starving because of you, said the stepmother angrily. And after that, the stepmother order to cut the pumpkin while she while she cut the pumpkin they're shocked because of there inside the pumpkin there are many jewelries where did you cut the pumpkin asked the stepmother then bawang putih said anything that happened to her they live in the house and they went to the river and then they did the same thing as 
uh, as bawang putih did. You know, the scarf was taken by the grandmother again. And the grandmother gave the same over like the bawang putih did. And after that, they choose the large one. But the grandmother said, you, you cannot to open it until you get home. With the greedy, they cut the pumpkin below a big tree. Then after that, they quite surprised because, because inside of this large pumpkin, there are such a venomous animals like snakes, scorpion, and edge. Oh my god! It doesn't feel like we're at the end of this video, right? But sadly, we need to end this video soon. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and down below. And uh, I hope you guys to stay healthy in this in the middle of this pandemic. I'm Harini Sairopan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and ciao. Ah.